Hello. Hi. Um, it's your active rest day for week four of the Shred and Build Challenge. Hello. You should be feeling a little bit broken now. Um, I'm kneeling down like this because today it is going to be sprints on the bike with a load of core work. So we've had to angle the camera slightly so you're going to be able to see when I'm down here on the floor. But it feels I need to do this mm -hmm. because it feels like it's really angled at a really odd level. So hello, welcome, I hope you're ready for this. There are going to be two of us today as always. Hello! We are broken. <clears throat> I'm going to keep this very real. We did legs two days ago for week four and my legs are still, when Lisa messaged me the next day and said, Lisa, my legs are broken, I rolled out of my bed <laughs> onto my knees to get, myself, to get myself going. That was day one. Day two, which is today, yes. I managed to roll out of my bed and not have to get to my knees. I just was up and up and I was gone. <laughs> but I can do zero. There is no jumping today. This is going to break me absolutely break me today. I can't skip, I give it a go. I imagine skip it, no. Here, here, and here. Ass shot. Done. It's a good one for, this, for the screen. You're welcome. So, Teresa's got new leggings on today, want them with every single part of my body. <laughs> uh, she did that thing where she was like, got them in the sale, but never ever got me any, that's fine, don't worry about it, it's awesome, it's awesome. Mm -hmm. don't worry about that. <laughs> okay, yeah, okay, yeah, yeah, moving on, moving, moving on, on, moving, moving on. on. So, this is week four, I can't believe it, we're nearly done. So today, you've either got this, which is your active rest day, which you've been picking, or you have got Aaron's workout. Now, don't be sad if you pick today's workout because you have Aaron on Friday. Yay. So if you don't do Aaron today, don't worry. I have picked a corker for you to do with him on Friday just so you can finish off the week. He's also going to take you through one day in the last, because we've got two little days at the end of this challenge, uh, Monday and a Tuesday. He's going to take you through a workout on one of those days as well. So don't worry if you're doing this today. Remember you've got legs tomorrow and as you can see, <laughs> it's probably going to be horrible. I'm okay. I, like, I'm all right. Like, my legs are sore, but I feel all right. Oh, so God. weird. Killing so me. So weird. Both did the same weight, same everything. It's just, uh, it's just how you are. Like, different things. If I do chest, I can't move for a week. But just, my legs seem to... I think it's just because I've been doing it for so long. It's just... Yeah, uh, I train legs. It's not like I don't train no, legs. <laughs> it just... I don't know. I don't know what it is. It's just, it is, it's just how it is. Let me explain how this is going to go today. Yes. Person on the bike. That's me. That's going to be Lisa. We would, advise, you as well. we would advise that you start with Lisa and use it as a warm up. You are going to do three sets of sprints. 30 seconds on, 10 seconds rest. The other person is me and I'm going to do um, an ab move for the whole of her sprints. So I'm going to do as many ab moves as I can, same move for the whole of her three sprints. Yes. And then we switch. Yes. Now, we all know I love, I love doing isolated core. I'm not that fussed about it. I could give or take this today, I'm not going to lie to you. Literally, we're like, she says, okay. just write, write, you write it, we'll do it. So then I read it out and she went, oh. I was like, what? Oh. For the whole time, yes. Yeah. What, for the whole? Yes. All of it. Right, okay. Uh, so for you guys that want to do more core, you're definitely going to want to put this in your favourites because this is one you're going to want to come back to. Remember when we did the 500 ab uh, rep challenge? It literally plays on my mind every week. This is going to be that style of thing. So if that was your kind of workout, this is going to be one for you. So you're definitely going to want to keep, um, keep it in your favourites. High volume, you are going to need a, a lightweight, a medium weight, a pair of sliders if you have them. You should know by now your alternatives if you don't have a pair of sliders. Mm -hmm. um, and your rollout wheel if you've got one. That's it. Bike. Seems easy, right? Yeah, bike or you can skip if you want to skip. No props. Easy. Easy. Are you ready then? It's week four. We're nearly done together. Tomorrow you've got legs, then you've got another full body with Aaron. Then you've got chest with Me. Teresa. Then that's it, two more days and you're done. All over. Oh, I can't believe it. It's gone so quick. It's gone really and quick. And so slow, all at the same <laughs> time. Uh, if, I bet you're wondering, when are we going to put our arms in? If we're not doing, if we're doing core today, when do arms get put in this week, ladies? Don't worry. You have got, got shoulders you. with chest, and if you've already done the other workouts, you know that you've got like your back with your biceps, and you've got all of the other good arms in with your build days this week. We so have not missed. We don't miss it. We don't worry. So this will be your 
rounding up of your body today because there was no core um, in much of the other workouts this week. So this is going to be the one that's probably going to make coughing feel horrendous <laughs> tomorrow. So enjoy that. I can't wait. I love a good core day, me. I, uh, there's no way I would turn a clean and press down for a good core day. This is my favourite. Are we ready? I'm, listen, I am ready. Okay, so you should be on the bike with me. We're going to start off very, very, very light. Your lightest. Stay with. <laughs> just, just ignore this. Just stay with. Just ignore me. this. You know. Nervous. You will know tomorrow when you've done legs. You'll know. And then you'll have me try in the work athlete. This is me trying. This is the everything I've got. So you're starting with. That feels very heavy, Therese. Let's go there. <laughs> so you're starting with me. Um, We're going to start the timer. Ten seconds rest, and then a third. Why does that feel really hard? And then a 30 seconds. <laughs> Is it just because you're left at that point? I don't know. Are we ready? 10 seconds. So you start with Lisa, you look what is to come. I'm ready when you are. Five, four, three, enjoy your workout. Two, one, let's go. So you should be starting with me as fast as you can for 30 seconds. And then you're gonna do that. Roll outs. If you're not going to do roll outs, pick something else. Whatever it is for you. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Rest it out. You've got ten seconds. Tracy carries on. Now these roll outs, make sure your hips do not dip. Squeeze your belly button four, in. So you're three, bracing right two, through the middle. One, let's go. Only go out as far as you feel you are confident to drag that wheel back in. 20 seconds. Come on, dig.
just runs whatever you've picked. You've got to get your heart rate up. You've got 15 seconds. Seven. Four. Three. Two. There it is. Three sets smash. You're back on the bike. We move on. And as I took, ooh, four minutes. Awesome. Suitcase crunches are next. Weighted or no weight. So follow Teresa, watch what she's doing. If that's not your exercise, you have three rounds of 30 second sprints to decide what you're gonna do on that floor. Just if you're not gonna join us with suitcase crunches and you wanna pick something else, try and put a weight in your hand, okay? 10 seconds, get ready. Eight, seven, four, three, two, all out, let's go. So we push our back into the mat, we come in, we crunch it tight, let them back out. Try to keep your legs off the floor, your hands off the floor with the weight. 18, come on, push. Be very close to me, just be careful. Yep. Yeah. So grab your hands with this pedal. It's gonna hurt. Eight seconds. And you round and through the back. You know, your legs are tiny bit. So your That's legs are a little bit higher. If you have a tendency to curve through your back, just lift those legs a little bit. Five, four, three, two. Let's go, sprint it out. Oh yeah. 20 seconds. You've got to tuck in tight with those abs. Ten. Five. Come on. Three. Two. You've got to give it everything. Woo! Oh. Six seconds. Keep Four. moving when you get to these abs. We keep going to let's go. Let's go. Whoa. Twenty seconds. Push. Dig deep. Fifteen. Don't stop. Ten. Get those shoulders up high. Four. Crunch it hard. Lengthen out. Five. Three. Last one. Rest it. Good job. Oh, we switch. We're on the floor. Let's do it. So suitcase crunches is where we're at. Five kilo weight is what we're using. Oh, you've got ten seconds. Enjoy those. Four, two, one. Let's do this. Let's go. Or we'll touch. Take it out. If you're in advance, you can keep your feet off the floor. But make sure there's no arch in that back. Up you go. Out. Make sure you're crunching. Your shoulders are doing the work. Shoulders are the key to abs. Ten seconds. <clears throat> You've got lots of time to concentrate on four. Three, two, I rest. You carry on. You should be crunching hard with that weight. Feet on or off the floor. Three, two, one. Let's go. Number two for me. 20 seconds. Start me a bit. <laughs> Come on. 10 seconds. You gotta work that core like every other muscle. Body. Three, two, rest it. You've got one to do. You carry on if you're doing your core. You don't rest. Watch that arch in your back. Make sure. Three, you're pulling your two. tummy in. Let's go. Last one for me.
of a rest. <laughs> Made to be a bit sickly. Mm. <sighs> Great yourself a drink and then you are back on the bike with Lisa. Hmm. Okay. Oh my gosh, that is real. This is really bad today. So, next one. Really wide with your legs, really wide with your arms, with or without a weight. 10 seconds, let's opposite go. Opposite hand to opposite foot. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, let's go. We go up, we take back right down. Three. Come on, push. Make sure you push your back into the mat. Fifteen. Ten. Shoulders come up high. And lift your foot to meet that hand with the weight. Four. Three. Two. Rest it. Carry on if you're a tree surfer with me. Rest it out. You've got ten seconds, then you give me everything you've got. Make sure you're twisting as you come up. Up, you Three, twist. Two, one, let's go. 30 seconds, give me everything. Left, right, left, right, left, right. Keep that upper body relaxed. Breathe. If you're skipping, skip. If you're running, sprint. Fifteen. Your alternative for this one is bicycle abs. Eight, seven, five. Three, two, last one, rest it out. You've got 10 seconds. Keep My legs. Get that foot high to meet that hand. Get those shoulders off the floor. Three, two, one. Let's go. Come on, everything. 20. End. Ten. Five. Three. Two. Last one. You are done. We are on this one for bicycle crunches. Get your breath. Oh, straight into it. Okay. <laughs> Try and keep those arms long behind your body if you're doing those star crunches. Okay. Keep those weights up high, you can walk, bring your shoulders off, touch those toes, push your back into that mat every time. You've got five seconds. Three, two, one. So let's go. Up, take it down. Push that back in, get those shoulders high, squeeze and a little twist through the middle. You've got 15 seconds, get those legs wide. Make yourself twist all the way up and over. Don't let that leg come too close to you. Five, three, two, one for me. Come on, now rest. You carry on having a lovely time. Four, three, two, let's go. Man, two of three sprints. Focus on that core. Squeeze, crunch hard at the top. 15 seconds. Oh, so hard. I know. You've got a long arms and long legs. Feels like everything. Five. Three. Two. You were too done for me. I get to watch you guys carry on. If you've got long limbs like me, five. Just Keep going. Three, two, one. Let's go. Twenty seconds. Your active resting should feel like you are working, but not as much by your hands as high as on your actual workout days. Still working. Just not quite as horrendously. Two, one. Awesome. Oh, that is really hard for me. We've been so long in the leg. 
Oh, okay, it's a long way to get up. Next one, do you have a choice here? You can join me with your sliders. Or you can go into a plank and do little hip dips. So I'm going to show you both. If you're with me with your sliders, your paper plates, whatever you've got, we are going to do mountain climb. So we're in a safe position. We mountain climb. Your alternative is you do a little hip or dip three. I would recommend you rest in the 10 seconds on this. Let's go. It's a lot. So we don't let our hips dip. Come on, push. Get it. One, your two, wrists one, two. are under your shoulders. You squeeze through your core. 15. Bring your knees into your chest. 10.
on the floor. Remember, you don't have to sit all the way up. Just what is comfortable for you. Your arms are going to go behind your head. You're going to reach for your trainers, making sure you take those Nine, arms eight, right two. over. Open up your core. Four, three, two, let's go. Aim for your trainers. Keep your chin tucked in. Mm -hmm. That's it. Let's get you going to hit hands. 20. Let's go. Take those hands right back. Stretch out. Squeeze that one out through is everything. It's not a rest. Six, five. Should be light enough that you're not bouncing on your chair. Two, last one. Should be light enough that you're not bouncing on your chair. But hard enough that you're getting some traction. Keep it going. Push Two, that back in. One. Tuck that Let's chin go. in. Shoulders on the mat, you're with Teresa right now. Okay? 
You've got seven seconds. Get ready. Let's take it up a notch. If you're on your bike, get me a level on. And let's go a tiny bit harder for this next half of the workout. Let's go. Sure. Your back is on the mat. You are stopping at that 30 second mark to give yourself a reset. Up. Right, advanced people, let's lift up. Stop, lift up, take it down. Lift your shoulders to make it harder. 12 seconds. But make sure that back is on the mat at all times. Five. Three. Two. Rest it. Reset. Lift your bum, squeeze it, put it on the mat, lift your shoulders. It's only 10 seconds. Four. Get your hands back under. Three. Lift your shoulders up. Two. One. Let's go. in the green is in my fat burning zone and I haven't even been moving my legs. I've literally just been on the floor. Look, this is an active rest day. I'm sweating more than I did on legs. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so make sure your back is on the mat. Shoulders off the mat are optional. I prefer it. Bending your knees is optional if you are a beginner. So you're just gonna just, just uh, could you just show up with a bent knee just in case the knee. Yeah, so if you need to you come into your chest, take it back out. Yeah. Okay, Are you ready? No weight. Ten seconds. How do these feel with this weight? It is <laughs> what it is. So, Five, four, three, two, the last one, let's go. We're all in it for 30 seconds. So you should be retreating right now. Alternative, push to the ceiling. 20 seconds. I find keeping my shoulders off the mat really helps me to push my back into the mat. So if you have any problems with your hollow tent through your back, try lifting your shoulders. Five, three, two, plus one, everyone rest. Oh, Everybody amazing. rest now. Uh, 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 uh. Five seconds. Okay. Three. Reset yourself. Two, one. Let's go. Little press or not. Wait or not. Really challenge yourself. 15. Eight. Come on, push. Push it. Four, three, two. Remember, this is not a rest. You should be going all out. Two, you're sweating. <laughs> Woo. Six seconds. You're sweating. I'm sweating. Good. Two, one, let's go. Last 30. Use your breath. So breathe it out and control the legs on the way down. Try not to hold your breath all the way through. 10 seconds. Five. like an athlete off the floor there. Sit-ups. So, one left, one right. 
in the center. So one, one arm only. You're gonna hold it to the ceiling. It's gonna stay at the ceiling. You can wiggle your fingers. You're gonna come up, sit up, and then you're gonna stay and then come back down. Now, advanced people, feet off the floor. Five. Come up, take it down. Three, two, one. Let's go. If you want to add a press to make it harder, so you're staying in that CC, do it. 20 seconds. Stay in that CC. Make those abs work. 10 seconds. Four. Three. Two. Rest it. Stay in that CC for you 10 seconds. Five. Three. Two. One. Arms. Let's go. Keep that weight to the ceiling. 20 seconds. Come on, let's do this. You've got 10 seconds and you need a rest. We've got one more to do. Five. Three. Two. Awesome. Put the weight down. You have options. You can either tuck or you can cross over. Take it down. Three. Entirely up to you. Two. One. Let's go. If you want to tuck and stick with that tuck out, you can do that. 20 seconds. Let's come on. Five, three, two, rest it. Woo. So, options there for you if you're advanced. Feet off the floor. So many options. Ah. So many options. What's up, Leah? Yeah. I love how I've moved the bike over and you still are like, oh, I know. <laughs> no, but yeah. sometimes when you come this way, I'm like, she's going to hit the wind. Oh, no. <laughs> 10 seconds, all of us. Are you ready? Keep that weight up to the ceiling. It's a complete op um, alternative if you want to stay in that seat or not. You've got 10 seconds. Give it everything you've got. You've got two more after this. Not one more, Trees. I'm 30 minutes in. Go! So come up. I'm not going to uh, put my press in. I'm going to hold for a second before I take it back down. So I'm going to come up and hold through that CC. Feet on half the floor. Ten seconds. Come on, push. Keep your back flat. Eight, seven, five, three. Rest it. Go. Change sides. Five. Push those abs in. Squeeze them in before you start. Push them back into the Two. mat. One. Let's go. Let's go. All the feet on or off the floor. All the way back down. Take the weight over your head. Go again. Twenty seconds. Fifteen. Come on, keep going. Five, three, two, options. Two caps, crossovers. I'm gonna go for two caps. Five, four, three, two. Give it everything, let's go. Feet stay off the floor, hands stay off the floor. Point those fingers. Point those fingers. I've got to tell you, this was a bad option. If you joined me, this was a bad option because it is horrendous. Come on, 10 seconds. Point your fingers. Five, three, four, oh. two, oh. last one. Oh. Make sure you leave enough time for my finisher. Oh, yeah. Okay. So, oh, I'm sweating, Lise. I'm sweating. 
sweating doing abs. If you have an option to put your feet up on something, do it. Please do. If you don't, I'm going to show you an alternative. But if you do have an option to put your feet up on the board like this, please do. Put your bum nice and close. You're going to come all the way up and you're going to touch your elbows over your knees. If you want an alternative, just hold your knees up, touch up, take it down. Fall. You might find that you need to put your feet on the floor every now and then because it'll feel quite a lot in the lower back. Let's go. Let's do it, let's go. 20 seconds. Elbows over those knees, let's go. 12 seconds. If you can, try and keep your elbows out of your sight while you come up. Five. Three. Two. One done. Try not to let your heel, if you are a beginner intermediate, maybe you need to put your heels under something. Maybe putting your feet under your weights, I get it, or you're under your sofa, I get it. But try, if you're an advanced person, just to rest your feet, to get your bum close. Let's go. Maybe you put your feet up on your sofa. That's perfect. 18 seconds. Elbows over the knees every time. Watch that you're not coming too far away. 10, with your bum.
are burning. Last one, let's go. Breath. So that's what's going to get you through this. 20 seconds. 
seconds. Come on. 15. Hold it. 10. 5. Really sick now. <laughs> little dip of the hip. You're so sick now. <laughs> Stay in that work. Little dip. Three. Twist through. Two. Little dip. One. Let's go. You need to stop for that ten seconds. Don't worry, I did. Thirty seconds. That's all we've got. Twenty of those are left. Hold that plank.
One. Three done. Something satanical about you. <laughs> Three done. Yeah, Three done! done. There's something wrong with you. Flying through! So two more, yeah? Well, no. Well, yeah, two more, yeah. Yeah, two more, yeah. Are you ready? That's how I need to do it in my head. Yeah, two more. Two more, yeah. yeah. Two Three, more. two, one, let's go. Ten. Nine. Eight. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two. One. Oh. Up you come. Oh, I don't want to. Up you come. Let's go. Ten. Nine. Eight. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two. Have well, this is not an active rest, is it? You've got one more set to do and it's done. How many cameras have burned? It's amazing. <laughs> it's amazing. It's supposed to be an active rest stream. Are we ready? Of course we are. Last one, it's all over. Three, two, one, let's go. Ten. Nine. Eight. Seven. Six. Five, four, three, two, one. Up you come. Let's do this. Go. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Oh God. There it is. Give those knees a hug. That was a nice way to finish. Yes? Oh my gosh. A hundred very quick reps to finish. Active rest day, week four of your shred and build. <sighs> Gotta say, none of them have felt like an active rest day. They've just felt marginally more comfortable than the other days. We're talking after this, does it? <laughs> it does say 50 reps on that board. It really does. And I psyched myself up for that. <laughs> Um, I hope you've enjoyed it. We've loved it, I believe. Yeah, we love it. Yeah, we love it. And uh, tomorrow is legs. legs. Enjoy that because Trusty can't move from it. So <sighs> we'll see you tomorrow. Enjoy that. The legs. See you soon. Bye. Bye bye.